The history of Camillo's House is personally fascinating to me. And I must say that it's been a, a delight and a privilege to be part of that history over the last 10 years. Persons who are homeless in Miami or in any city typically share a common characteristic, which is they lack what we refer to as social capital. You or I could fall on hard times and have family or friends, maybe an ex-employer that'll give us a hand. Many of the homeless persons, or persons who are homeless is the way I like to refer to them, uh, these folks really don't have any place to fall back. The Camillus program has been designed in such a way that as individuals work on breaking their cycles of homelessness, they can enter in at the earliest level of just coming in off the street and can stay within the Camillus system until they achieve independent living. Tonight, there'll be probably about 1,000 persons who'll spend their night under a Camillus roof somewhere in Miami-Dade County. Our goal will be to expand that over the next three years to 1,300 persons. There are 850 or so persons who are living on the streets of Miami-Dade County today. And if we can add capacity to uh, add 300 more and move, say, 100 or so out of supported housing into independent living, you can see we've uh, essentially going to, uh, to uh, bring in half of what's left in terms of the street. So we remain extraordinarily optimistic that we will see an end to chronic homelessness in Miami. Well, I, I think we're capable of uh, ending chronic homelessness in the city of Miami in perhaps three to four years' time. Uh, in the county, maybe uh, six or seven years' time. It's going to take a continuation of a process that Camillus House has started uh, some years back. Uh, we need to fully utilize this campus, uh, so we need uh, time, talent, and treasure. Uh, we have a courtyard program that uh, we're beginning this June. We'll take a cohort of 100 men and women off the streets. Hopefully there'll be political will so we can accommodate not just 100 people at a time, but perhaps 300 people. And we certainly have the, uh, the, the facilities here to do that. Another aspect, of course, is our treatment programs. We have 128 treatment beds. Uh, we only have about 64 or 72 that are funded and utilized at the moment. So we have uh, capacity there that uh, we basically need funding for. The treatment program takes six to nine months but that's really the driver to get people um, through their addiction issues, uh, stabilize their, uh, their mental health uh, so they can be uh, functioning members of society. So it's, uh, it's just uh, working hard and uh, staying the course and, and we'll get it done. Uh, one of the ongoing questions for us is uh, what's next for Camilla's House after we solve the problem of chronic homelessness? It's kind of not a next because what we're going to see is we're going to see a, a gradual reduction in the number of street homeless, chronically homeless persons. And we're going to then have the means and the resources to begin to deal with individuals who are homeless and have a disabling condition, but don't meet what we call the duration criteria, have not been on the street a year or longer or have four episodes of homelessness in three years. We've never promised that we were going to end mental illness in Miami-Dade County or substance abuse or HIV AIDS. What we did say was we were going to end chronic homelessness in Miami-Dade County. And one of the ways that we can end it is by uh, striking the chronic from the definition of people still on the street. At the point where we're able to end all of homelessness, you'd still have episodic homeless. And so we would be able to take pieces of this facility uh, and, and make it housing for uh, economic or episodic homeless. Uh, the Bible says the uh, poor will always be with us. Uh, Jesus said that, but of course he never said they had to be homeless. I think what the Brothers of the Good Shepherd have done is they have paid miles and miles and miles of heart and miles and miles and miles of hope 
so that individuals who are homeless in Miami-Dade County essentially can move off the street into a safe, productive environment and into a productive and safe life.